Guten Tag, and welcome to another edition of Live Big. I'm Patrick Sweeney, your host, and today I'm coming to you from high atop Bern, Switzerland. Today's episode is going to be all about innovation. So, most people who go out and mountain bike cross country don't spend much time doing downhill. If you're one of those cross country mountain bikers who gets to the downhill portion of a race and gets completely white knuckled, terrified, and ends up going slow, which actually is more dangerous, then this episode might help you out. We're going to take a look at a pretty interesting innovation here in town. There was a little bit of conflict about five years ago between mountain bikers and hikers. As you can see, Switzerland is one of those great places. It's a Sunday afternoon in October. People are just walking out enjoying themselves, getting some exercise in. And what happened a few years ago is the mountain bikers started to conflict a little bit with the hikers and the walkers. Those Swiss are famous for their neutrality and playing the role of peacemaker. Of course they came up with a solution. First was to have the hikers carry the bikes up, but that didn't work out so well. Then they put in a train. Well, yeah, a kitty train, but also a big train for mountain bikes. If you're fit and you really want to get a workout in, there's actually plenty of room to share the trails with hikers. And you get an amazing view of burn on the way up. So, sweet harmony like a Swiss horn. Let's go take a look at the course. We'll try and learn a few tips and techniques that might help you in your next race. The yelling you just heard in the background is some ponytailed Swiss guy who saw my keys, wallet, and phone rocketing out from under my seat on that first rough section of trail. Of course, I don't speak a lick of German except to ask for a beer and say thank you, but he doesn't seem to notice or care. So all I can do is smile. I haven't been that happy to see a mullet and ponytail since the U2 show sophomore year of high school. <laughs> okay, spectacles, testicles, wallet and watch. Everything is back together. Thank you to my guardian angel. Now it's time to rock and roll. I really like to push the speed. To go fast, I'm going to focus on three things that one of my downhill friends taught me about. Brakes, ass and arm. These Swiss trees are fast. The first tip is brake. Brake late, brake hard. Especially with that front tire. 70% of your stopping power comes from that front wheel. So hit it at the last minute before you get into that turn and make sure you're not on it going into the turn. <laughs> Second tip is to keep your junk in the trunk. Got to keep your butt back on downhill. The steeper, the further back. Look at this picture. You can see how far back my butt is behind the seat. And third is the old stiff arm. When you come into a corner, push that inside arm down and lock out that outside leg. That counteracting force keeps the tread pinned right to the corner. <laughs> You can tell things didn't go exactly as smoothly as I hoped today. Looks like I'll be purchasing a new front wheel sometime soon. Beat this one up pretty good. Well, I'm a little bruised up, but I'm a little bit faster too. That's what innovation is all about. Failing and then getting right back up and trying again. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and subscribe. Get a new adventure every Thursday into your inbox. Follow us on social media. And until next time, I'm Patrick Sweeney. Live big.